This video is going to be an overview of the main Pro Tools windows. The three primary windows in Pro Tools are the Edit window, the Mix window, and the Transport window. These windows, in addition to the MIDI Editor and Score Editor windows, are where you will do most of your work in Pro Tools. Let's start off with the Edit window. The Edit window has four primary components. The first is the Toolbar, followed by the Timeline display, then the Track display, and the left and right side columns. The edit window side columns include the track list, which has its own pop-up menu, the edit groups list with its pop-up menu, and then the clip list, which has a pop-up menu as well. To show or hide either the left or right side column, simply click the corresponding arrow located at the bottom corner of the edit window. The next section we'll look at are the ruler views. These are the horizontal displays and the timeline display area just above your tracks. You can display or hide any of the available rulers using the rulers pop-up menu. The toolbar itself can be customized by showing or hiding various controls and displays. This can be done by clicking in the Edit Window Toolbar menu and selecting or deselecting various options. In addition to the Edit Tools and Edit Modes, you may also wish to display the Zoom Controls, Transport, and MIDI Controls. Once you've made a particular control visible, you can rearrange it in the toolbar by either command clicking on the Mac or control clicking on Windows and dragging the particular control to a new location. Next, we'll take a look at the mix window. The layout of the mix window is based on an analog mixer design and its mixer-like appearance makes it fairly intuitive to learn. First, let's take a look at the signal routing controls. Here we can see insert selectors, send selectors, and the input and output selectors for each track. Next, we have the record and playback controls. These include the automation mode selector, the pan controls, the record solo and mute buttons, and the volume fader. One important thing to note is that the volume fader does not affect input gain when you're recording so the signal level must be set appropriately on your microphone preamp or your audio interface. The mix window also has a single side column on the left side. Here you can also see a tracks list, including a tracks list pop-up menu, and the mix groups list with its own pop-up menu. Next we'll look at the transport window. Note that these are the same controls that you can display in the edit window toolbar, so you may find that you don't actually need to use the transport window. Here we can see the transport controls, the counters, and the MIDI controls. You can customize the layout of the transport window by clicking on the transport window's pop-up menu. Another very important window in Pro Tools is the MIDI editor window. And while you can edit MIDI on the individual tracks in Pro Tools, you'll find this window is quite useful for more complex compositions. The MIDI Editor window has its own toolbar, its own sidebar, a MIDI Notes pane, as well as automation and controller lanes. You can find this in both docked versions that appear at the bottom of the Edit window and as its own floating window. One great feature of the MIDI Editor window is that you can use the Show Hide icons in the Tracks list to see data from multiple MIDI tracks superimposed. The last window we're going to look at is the score editor. This window is similar to the MIDI editor window, but it lets you see all of your MIDI data in a single score view. Here you can customize the page layout and staff spacing and specify the title and composer. And then when you're finished, you can use the print score command to print a copy of your score. One additional Pro Tools feature that you may find quite useful is tooltips. When tooltips are enabled, Hovering your cursor over an interface item will give you an explanation of the basic function of the item. If you're not seeing tooltips, you may need to go into the Pro Tools preferences and enable them in the Display tab. 